going give me your hands everybody give me your hands boom fell into you gotcha oh oh my gosh oh shit get out of the vehicle man give me your hands you open that cage hold on bro where the hell did go trevor you have the right to remain silent <laughs> 11 dispatch be advised the U.S. Marshals will be taking over this pursuit. Hey there, Joe Boyd. How you doing, man? You're sure the only one in Twitch. <laughs> oh, there's Excel. How you doing, Excel? He's testing some new calls, these kinds of things. How you doing, man? Good. Can y'all hear the game okay? Can you hear my voice okay? Thank you there, Joe. For hosting that. Hey there, Emmanuel. How you doing, man? Hey, Mike. Ah, oh, no problem, Mike. We got late. Uh, we weren't on too much longer after you left, so more like something like 30 minutes, maybe. Doing good there, Techno Freak. How you doing, man? Hey, Vic Fulton. Nick Fulton. <laughs> Hello. How you doing, man? All right. Now we used this vehicle pack. I completely forgot who it's from, but I completely forgot who it's from. It's a nice one. Y'all doing all right today? Hey, Attack Dog Gaming, how you doing, man? I uh, appreciate that. Yeah, a lot of people have to make kind of Twitch accounts. You know, if they want to kind of come over here for some reason, they have to, where the less, you know, they want to chat or something. All right, nice. All right, guys. Okay, we're gonna flip on a radio here in just a minute. I just got through installing a few things. Um, one of them is a new call-out pack. Let me see what the name of it is. It doesn't have any reviews yet. I think it's priority call-outs. Yeah, that's it. So I'm testing those kind of calls. Make sure they work right. They may or may not work. I'm sure they probably 
will for the most part. But nobody's given the uh, mod or any reviews yet, so thought I'd test them out a little bit on Twitch. Oh, is it? I love the Taurus, man. It's one of my favorite vehicles, actually. A lot of people, uh, you know, the Vic is real nice. Obviously, the Charger, things like that. But, I oh, mean, I'm more partial towards the, uh, the Taurus for some reason. Probably the body shape. Okay, so let's flip on a radio and see what kind of cool stuff we get. Let's see what we get here, guys. Let me get that plug in where I can just go on and off duty if I need to. Oh, here we go. This is new. Okay, so this is one of the new calls. Uh, three John, responding code two. Copy that. Okay, now it's supposed to be out here in Plato Bay. I think it's probably going to be, what do you guys think, at that hen house or something like that, whatever's, whatever is that called? <laughs> I forgot the name of the, the club that they have out here in Plato Bay. It's got to be there. It can't be anywhere else. cut through some of this. These people drive way too slow. Well, it just depends. Uh, techno, techno freak. Uh, usually lights to kind of clear intersections, these kind of things, you know. I knew it was going to be this place. But yeah, we will flip on our lights out here since since we're out here now. After John shows 23, we're going to be at westbound Palada Boulevard, Dulox Avenue, 1835. Roger. Okay, so this is the bouncer. He looks pretty pissed off. I'm kind of glad that they didn't use the standard pad, you know, that has security in the back. I do get tired of seeing that. He looks so mad. Look at him. Hey, what happened? He says, hello, officer. The man with the hat on uh, started to fight on the other man. Uh, he wants to press charges. The man with the hat. Oh, okay. All right. So I'm supposed to wreck, arrest the drunk person. So the man with the hat. Oh, no, it's this guy. Sorry. I didn't see this guy standing here. Can I talk to this guy? Hello. He said, hello, uh, the man in the hat. Oh, that's the bouncer saying to something again. Come on, man. It's hard to read these things so damn fast, man. The modders need to slow this shit down. You know what I'm saying? He says, uh, hello, the man in the hat was removed from the bar for being um, verbally abusive to the... Come on, man. <laughs> One more time, guys. Uh, he's heavily drunk and refusing to leave. So, the man with the hat. Okay. So I'm guessing it's this guy, probably. I ain't seen that kind of stuff before. I wish I could interact with him any other way, but I look at him. He's all glitched out. <laughs> Alright, let me see your ID. <laughs> Why is he like shaking and stuff? Alright, this is uh, McDonald, McDonough, McDonough Rask, something like that. Okay. Uh, John, can I get a 27 on McDonald Rask? R A S K E. Raymond Red Reddington. <laughs> yeah. Alright, and just for grins, since I guess he's supposedly intoxicated, but the modern needs to fix this. Well, you know, in Blaine County, we don't apologize here, okay? <laughs> Alright, let me talk to this. Um. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, we got a fire here. Requesting code through backup. Get down, little boy. <laughs> All 
I don't think so. <laughs> Ow. Sit down, boy. And back to what I was doing. He got KTFO'd, Mike. <laughs> Alright, I really wanted to just, you know what, let's just do this. Here, turn around. Turn this mic around. I don't like the fact that he was, like, locked and shaking and stuff. But I would like to do a breathalyzer on him. You know, just for grins, right? See if he's public and publicly intoxicated. Charge him public intox or something. Okay, negative. And, uh... Let's see, we'll do like an unrealistic drug swab. Oh, there we go. Positive for marijuana and ecstasy. So I guess we could charge him for like a... I don't know if I'm not a cop, so I don't know. Maybe public intox, but it's a different kind of intox, right? Okay. We'll charge him with... I don't know. The, the, the staff wants him arrested, so... Hey there, DBSO. How you doing, man? Howdy. Like that KTFO? Got three of them out here. Requesting ambulance. Ambulance. Assistance required in Palato Bay. This guy got really KTFO'd. Attend to this guy. So we'll see if we can revive him, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Yeah, he's fine. Wakey up, wakey wakey. There you go, sit down right there. You'll be charged with assault of a police officer, thank you. <laughs> we'll tend to this guy too. Could have ended a lot worse for them. Citizens reporting a robbery at the Harmony 24 7 market. Units respond code 3. Uh, three John, we're 10-7 playing up here in Medicare. Roger, three uh, John, 21. They're gonna t okay, that's funny. They're just going to take him, and I guess I'll do their work for him, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> this guy. I don't know what, what triggered them to do that while they decided to assault me like that. Get up here. You're awake. All right, now sit up. Put a tramp a change on the back. Right and then you, Diego. Oh, is he gonna go buy an ambulance for real? Come on now. I was trying to stop. Can I? I can actually stop him here, and he'll stand up, which is kind of stupid. <laughs> He's surfing, guys. So stupid. Guess I'll charge this guy with the assaulting a police officer, right? Alright. Pat you down. Nothing's gonna poke me, stick me, harm me anyway. Hey there, John. How you doing, man? He had a bag of heroin on him. Not his lucky day. So John, can I get a 27 on a Albert Tai? T A I. Roger. 3 John, 21. See you there, John. Long time no see, man. <laughs> hey there, I said Martin. MJ Phillip. I know it's going to take you a while. He said something about it takes a while to change the name or something like that. You're good to go. All right. So we're just kind of chilled out here. Oh, God. So that's some new call outs. This is the new call out. Some bouncers hey. out here in case you're just now joining the stream here. Uh, he was wanting the guy in the back rear seat to be arrested. This guy right here. This black guy in the back rear seat. And uh, he was evidently intoxicated, causing issues inside the club. <laughs> uh, no problem there, Martin. Yeah, we're probably going to try to do maybe an earlier type of stream. So that way we can get some more people in there. Uh, we had a ton of people requesting 5PD, and we just didn't have a ton of people show up. 
Yeah. Bambi got, he ate it last night. All right, three giants, show us 215, you're heading back to the station. 10 4, copy that. 3 John 21. Charge out one white guy with. No, he's not white, he's an Asian guy. Assaulting a police officer. Doing pretty good there, Martin. Just kind of getting some things in order for the stream. And uh, had some crashing issues earlier, had to fix that. That was no bueno. Let's see, I should be able to take both of them down at the same time. If I'm not mistaken. Here we go. Hey, Cove, how's it going, man? Okay, so this guy I want to take first. This Asian guy right here. I'm gonna do some charges. Right in the white FBI. Uh. Uh, the next time that we do it, yeah, I'll do I'll do maybe a white version or something. Shit. Did I? Yeah, that's right. He had uh, what else did he have here? Heroin, right? Oh, that's right. Yeah, he had heroin. And let's grab this guy real fast. So he's not sitting here. Now, this guy was just more of a I don't know. Public intoxicus or something, right? Uh, DBS, I'm not sure, man. Uh, we got a. What happened to the other guy? <laughs> got an escape prisoner. <laughs> Hopefully, he's still in my database. Uh, it kind of depends on people's schedules and stuff like that. Shit. All right, let's see where public intoxicus is. On here. Oh man, the other guy just vanished. That sucks. Okay, so uh, let me try to find this. What a be under here? Here it is, probably here, right? I would assume. Well, he wasn't fighting or anything, was he? We could say disturbing the peace. Ah, oh, here it is. P disturbing the peace and public and talks. I think that was pretty good. And I don't really remember him having anything. Too much more illegal on him. If I remember right. And just for grants, let's see what he got. <laughs> okay, just got granted probation, which is fine by me because it's not like a big deal. You know what I mean? It's not like the other guy. The other guy I wanted to really get. I really wish they had fixed that so they don't disappear on you. Oh, did he have a ballpoint pen? Uh oh. I missed that. It's an automatic felony. If it was a pencil, executable by death. <laughs> Firing squad. Look at this guy. Which one is causing the problem? I'm trying to figure out. Okay, we'll pull that Granger over there. I had this weird glitch too. I couldn't pull people over uh, a little while ago when I fired up the, the game. It was acting weird, so I had to reboot. But I thought it was like connected to last night's 5M stuff because towards the end of the stream I couldn't pull anybody over, but I think it's just unrelated. <laughs> Ballpoint pen. That's right. Weapons of mass destruction. Manual, that's right. Okay, man. Okay, any reason why you're pulling your tires? Come on. License, registration, insurance, all that fun stuff. Give me that. <laughs> That's right. That's right, Martin. Unless she's some form of alien or something. Or he was a form of an alien. And you never lived that long. Alright, you haven't been drinking, have you? Yeah, a couple of beers. Alright, hang tight. I'll probably just give like a warning or something. For drinking the beers. <laughs> I would like to do probably a breathalyzer on her. 
Ah, just real fast. Oh, no. Can't let her drive off. She's got a license suspended. Alright. Dumbass. Uh, three John, we're on traffic side going eastbound. Uh, US Route 1. Got a brown Granger pulled over with a lady that's about to go to jail. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I don't usually do it in that order, but hey. Okay, come back over here. Follow me over here. This is a pretty sweet tourist, right? I really like the tourists. I think it's the back end of it. The reason why I like it is just kind of cool to me. All right, you're driving on a suspended license. All right, turn around. We're going to impound your vehicle, too. And also, you said you drink a couple of beers. You mind performing a breathalyzer on me? Hmm? On you? I mean me. <laughs> I said on me. That's so funny. Requesting female backup. Backup needed in... Uh, All right, we'll do the breath today. test on you. Breathalyzer. Can you do that? Blow into that. <laughs> Yeah. Another Martin. Hey, I got your six. Well, Scott, you know, has a tendency to, uh, when he talks, he talks a lot, you know. <laughs> he just depends. Scott's a little high strung. Okay, so, um, I don't think she was intoxicated. Hey, Deputy Karen, can you pat her down? Thanks. No, that's, not, that's not Deputy Karen. That's uh, De Deputy Corinne. What happened to her? Did y'all see that? She just like disappeared. <laughs> she loved when plugins like are busted and stuff. Black powder residue? What's up with that? She does look high, doesn't she? She's probably, uh, we'll test it for narcotics. She's probably under the influence of something else. Um, why don't we just, because heroin could be black, right? Actually, you know what? Yeah, let's do heroin, because y'all have heard of black tar heroin, right? I don't know. I don't know this stuff. I'm not a drug addict like Cove was saying. <laughs> just kidding, Cove. All right, so it was just, what was that, marijuana? Just um, marijuana. Black powder, powdered marijuana. Okay, never heard of that. All right, well, let's see. I'm kind of curious. I wonder if she is under the influence. Let's do a drug swap. <laughs> John's like, I'm not one to enter. Well, the problem is, though, John, is that with Scott in the, in the uh, stream, you can't get a word in edgewise half the time. <laughs> He's so high strung, man. All right, so she's going to go to jail mainly just for suspended license, and she had marijuana like basic stuff on her so like a big deal all right oh by the way you have the right to remain silent anything you say you can't always be against you in a court of law you have the right to an attorney if you can't afford an attorney will be appointed to you you have the right to stop by any any kind of questioning at any time you understand these rights okay good look how dirty this vehicle is hey deputy karen go wash your vehicle take care see ya It's like, what do you mean? Okay, so we'll search this. Oh, good lord. Several pounds of cocaine, several bags of marijuana. Okay. Whoa, I'm walking into the vehicle. Do you see that? Requesting tow truck. All right, she'll be charged with cocaine. If I could do it real fast, let me see if I can still do it. Yeah, there she is. Okay, real fast. Um, she had, listener, I still wanna to talk to Bajojo and see if we can add some, you know, more weight to these charges. I mean, it does have, you know, misdemeanor and felony there, but I would love to see, like, a drop-down menu, like, how many, like, 
you know, small, medium, large. I don't know. Don't you all agree with that? That'd be kind of cool, right? And then I think she had cocaine, yeah. Because, see, possession of cocaine, what is that, a dime bag? Is that five pounds? Several pounds of cocaine? You know, there's a huge difference. You know what I'm saying? Huge difference. But I've seen police officers, uh, not in real life, but I've seen police officers on cops, and I've seen them on, not maybe not so much on live PD, but definitely cops. I've seen them let people go and write a citation. Well, actually, I have seen it on live PD. Write a citation for marijuana possession, and they let them go. Simple as that. They don't take them to jail for that. And if it's a bigger amount, they take them to jail. Just, it just depends on the situation and how cool the cop is. All right, we're just going to charge her with those right there. And then I think she had... Um, we're just going to say revoked license because I don't see... I'm sure it's on there somewhere. We're just going to do that. I know it's not revoked, but, you know. Let's see what her court case is. And she did about... Uh, Oh, nine years in prison. Nice. What? Look at this, guys. Driving with a revoked license, even though it's really suspended, which I guess could be the same thing, right? Uh, $953, four years in prison. <laughs> and she only got three years for the possession of cocaine. You see what I'm saying? I mean, it's kind of broke. It's kind of stupid. That'd be stupid, bros. All right, let's go see this. Uh, I want to try some more calls here. That's the whole point of you being here, right? Uh, let's do its priority callouts. Oh, this is an AWOL. It's a soldier that um, is AWOL, basically. If you don't, if you don't know what that is, and go look that up. I'm sure you guys know what that is. <laughs> yeah, okay, that would be funny, five. Martin. A briefcase full of uh, Catherine Brooks counterfeit money. Uh, to John, copy that. Okay, so it says suspect has um, has. This is what it says. I'm not. I'm reading it just like it says. Suspect has seen in the area in in the soldier's last mission before he went AWOL. He was reported to higher ups for possible mental illness. Proceed code three. Okay. I don't know why it bugs me a little bit. Um, and I don't want to offend anybody in the chat, um, but you know, if if you're English speaking, then please make sure the text is, you know, is actually grammatically correct. You know what I'm saying? That bugs the shit out of me. I don't know why. <laughs> it shouldn't. Wait a sec. How far is this call away? Because this is the new modder. I'm not going to drive. Yep. Here we go, guys. Look at this. And mm -mm. <laughs> we're going to cheat a little bit. Sorry. This is, uh, I'm kind of practicing for the stream tonight, right, guys? Let's look at it like that. I apologize if it's unrealistic, but, you know. Yeah, that's right. Don't return to duty. Hey, well. <laughs> Reminds me of Full Metal Jacket, John. <laughs> that scene from Full Metal Jacket. Oh, I'm sorry. It's an accident. After John, we're on scene. Uh, gonna be right underneath Interstate 2, Ginger Street. Roger that, 3, John, 21. Whoa. Okay, now he may have a weapon. Okay, he's, he's running. Requesting code 3 backup. Assistance required on um, Ginger Street. Let's see which way did he go. He went down this way. Could just do a femur deleter, you know what I'm saying? Which way are you going to go? Oh, did you see that? That's kind of nice. I like it when they take corners and shit, but I need to be ready. Just in case. Whoa! Uh -uh. Oh my gosh. Shots fired. Oh shit. Did I hit this did I hit this guy or did he No, he did that. He did that. Attention all units. 
Did y'all hear that? That that was kind of. Did you hear that? I'm gonna tend to this guy. I think he got shot. Did y'all hear him say that? <laughs> Salam alaikum. Started like shooting everybody and shit. I know, right, Manuel? We should uh, arrest those people. Okay, we got him up. Requesting ambulance. Didn't we already pre request them? Ambulance. They're, okay, they're Alright, sir. Hang on one tight. I don't care if this guy lives or dies, but... That's kind of a cool call, right? I like that blood mod. <laughs> That's 4K blood textures. That's right, we got some multiple Code 3 DR DRTs. Ah, uh, through John, we got a DRT. Copy that. She copies that, guys. We're gonna warp them in a little closer, because uh, for some reason. Probably park down there. That was kind of cool that he turned to ride and came up here and just started wasting people. They're <laughs> trying to. <laughs> you want to see a replay? I'm just kidding. I wish I had the. I mean, I know I have the ability. I got to figure out how to do that. It's through Seat Stream OBS. Okay, they're going to take this guy, but I guess they're not going to worry about this guy. Whatever. You know what? Requesting corner. He's dead. He DRT, man. He's DRT. Um, had a buddy of mine. You guys know that I'm, I'm a medic, right? So I had a buddy of mine. I was fresh right out of school. This is years ago. It's like 19 years ago, guys. Right out of school. Paramedic school. And I'd actually been in the medical field, guys, for 25 years. And I'm a RN as well, a registered nurse. And anyway... I worked with this guy, he was a paramedic, and he had been a paramedic for many years. He was also in the Iraq war and all this. And uh, we were sitting there one time, and we had a motor vehicle accident. And this guy was obviously deceased. I mean, I'll cover you. it's hard to explain. You know, when someone's dead, they're dead, you know. And uh, I won't go into all the graphic detail, but he was, he was dead. So he looked at me, and he, he literally said, yeah, man, code DRT. I went, and I started racking my brain of all the different codes and stuff, you know, that we learned and stuff like that. I couldn't feel the life of me. I did not have any idea what he was talking about. He's like, yeah, man, code DRT. So what do you mean? He goes, yeah, dead right there. <laughs> I said, oh, shit. He was messing with me. All right, officer, thank you for coming. Officer Jackson. Appreciate you coming. I must say, and John will totally agree with me on this, is the AI is a hundred times better um, with LSPDFR. Uh, mainly because of, of plugins like Stop the Pet and things like that. It controls a lot of the AI behavior, so it's kind of cool, right? <laughs> Code DRT. <laughs> Now you know where I learned that. Jesus. That's how we kind of got through with things, man. You know, when you'd see dead bodies and stuff. Um, people have been dead in their apartment for several days. No one even knew they were gone. It starts to mess with you after a while. But the way you cope with it is with a little humor, you know. Yeah, I know. And John, it didn't help with fucking Scott taking his AR and wasting every single fucking ped. Because he knows how they're going to react. They're going to start panicking and all that. <laughs> Let that talk to Scott, man. He needs to settle down on that shit. You know what I mean? It's kind of a put off. <laughs> And burping all over the microphone and all that. <laughs> I think John's known me for 
a couple of years now. He knows my my uh, tolerance levels. <laughs> John was thinking the same thing, but, but John's like me. You know, John's older than me, but me and him are older guys, so um, we put up with a lot of stuff, and we don't want to stir the pot. You know what I'm saying? So John's a lot like me. Uh, thank you for that uh, sub. For some reason, Stream Elements is um, acting rather weird. So let me fix that real fast, guys. Sorry. I think it has a lot to do with um, it, the way you sign in to Stream Elements is so stupid, the way they have it all set up. So I think I have to, like, part channel with one bot because I technically have two bot. Oop, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Sorry about that. Yeah, it wasn't too cool. Blake is pretty chill. <laughs> I'm reading your, uh, I'm reading what your, your, uh, what you got there, Martin. Just one sec. Uh, FBIE, Martin? Yeah, there's got to be one, man. This is actually a really large pack. Yeah, let's go ahead and switch it over. Uh, there's got to be one. I see to find it. I think it's in the police three slot. That's why they usually keep these packs. Uh, let's see here. It's probably... Nope. Oh, that's the one I was driving. Why is that like that? Okay, let's try... Um, it could be, nope, it's the Vic. I'm actually glad you asked me because if we do a stream with these tonight, I need to know where shit is, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, I know it's not in police two, uh, probably not police four. It could be FBI maybe. No. Okay. How about FBI 2? Yeah, that sounds where it sounds like it should be there. Let's try this one. There we go. This looks better clean. Look at that pretty lot. Look, yeah, it's sweet, huh? Make sure there's no. Make sure there's no tent, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Look at it at night. I think the lights look even better at night. Can y'all see okay? <laughs> it's pretty nice, right? I'm not very fond of the, the light pattern in the front. The back's look the back uh Traffic advisor is looking nice, right? It's pretty cool, man. I like that. Uh, John, yeah. So the way I understand it, I think me and you, um, our understanding of five uh, M type stuff is pretty close to the same. I think uh, a lot of these modders will make these vehicles and, and things like that um, for different communities, and I guess that's kind of the way that they make money by doing, you know, like uniforms, belts, hats, gloves, um, these kinds of things, patches sometimes, it just depends, because I see them all the time, I know you do too, inside the LSPD fire, um, like the forum, oh, it's not the forums, but they'll upload like a, a really nice, um, how to say this, like a, a ped model, and then they put all their really nice images on there that, uh, that look really kick-ass and badass, and then when people ask about it, you know, like, where did you get the hat from? They're like, oh, that's, you know, that's 5M, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, to answer your question, I think you do. However, I'm still a little bit confused, John, because don't you see a lot of packs on, on LSPDFR that says 5M ready, right? I'm a little confused on that. 
Yeah. Pretty nice little FBI, right? Sexy. I really wish, and I'm sure John probably is the same way, is that I really wish that they would, the traffic stops, you know, by the AI would last longer. You know, like they just pulled over a vehicle for whatever reason, it doesn't matter. They pull someone over. Uh, maybe, maybe they're about to take a left, like the AI is about to take a left, and then the AI police um, is about like following behind them, and they pull them over, and then the the call uh, pullover lasts for five minutes or something. You know what I mean? That'd be kind of cool because that way we could kind of role play that out a little bit. We're gonna get a little bit more north of the map here. Yeah, I agree, uh, John. That would be kind of nice, I think, personally. I think, uh, I know some cars won't work too good from my understanding. Um, maybe that's the reason why they say 5PD ready or something. I don't really, with all my knowledge with LSPD fire, I still don't understand that part. Maybe it's the way they're packaged, or they, maybe it's the way 5M reads the cars, or something like that. Their car files, that's what I'm thinking. I may be wrong. Blake should know. <laughs> Freaking damn hog, man. Boar. Had Robert Baratheon flashbacks. You know what I'm saying? Can I go inside that store? I think I can. Yeah, I can go in there. Swallow Twitch streaming because you guys are just hanging out, so I might as well experiment with some stuff, right? <laughs> okay, that'd be great. Stop by my place later. Let's see, is there a plug in, John, or anything like that that automatically will grab your flashlight? Do you know, John? <laughs> Bad cop time, Martin. <laughs> we may. Yeah, I don't man. That's so silly. I mean, that should be that shouldn't be a mod. That should be like every hotkey. That should be like a hotkey, right, John? Like you get out, and as soon as you get out, you should have the hotkey like available right there instead of doing this you know that stupid sound in your ear right there I hate that or when you're doing when you're doing this trying to find the right gun and you're you know uh, eh, you know what I mean <laughs> John knows what I'm talking about I can't go in there I have open all interiors so can I see what you're typing Sorry, just wanted to know who you're typing or who you're texting. Okay. Just curious, man. Yeah, I know, John. I haven't really either, to be honest. I know there's all kinds of other plugins that you can, you know, that you can use to, you know, keep your vehicle door open, you know. I think the plugin, if I'm not mistaken, is, um, what is it called, John? It's to help keep your door, like for example, like you say you come up on a call and you're trying to get to, see how it closes the door. I think the plugin's called something like, uh, keep it the fuck open or something like that. Or <laughs> I forgot the name of it. Yeah, there it is. Keep the fucking door open. <laughs> I love that. I have to reinstall that. You just hold, it, it's, it's a really simple plugin. You just hold F a little bit longer than you normally would. Do you have that one, John? I need to reinstall that one. I like that one. Especially when you're doing a felony stop and you're wanting to pull someone over. You just want to get that realistic. Because otherwise I have to do it like this and it looks kind of a little weird. But I have to do it like this. Wait, hold on. See, I can't even do it right now. Let's see if I can practice here. No, hold on. Ah, 
Ah, fuck it. I'm gonna go down the left that mod. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That thing is so frustrating. I used to be pretty good at that where you didn't close the door all the Oh no, I'm talking oh I know what it is. If you're like this and then you open the door and then back away real fast. <laughs> but when you get out of the car, that's the whole purpose of the K KFDO, right? Yeah, that's right. Oh, is it in Sneeze? Well I've got it installed, man. Enhanced vehicle ac actions. Is there a menu for that? I forget. I got so many menus, man. For enhanced vehicle actions. Because I do have it installed. I'm pretty sure I do. Maybe I don't. I thought I did. Yeah. No, I'm sorry. I've got... Well, I have... No, I don't have it. I have Rich's Police Enhancement. That's what I have. Yeah, KFD, KFDO. I think that, yeah, that goes in your plugins folder too. Just a simple plugin, right? Kind of like Spotlight. Real lightweight. Okay, let's try out these other calls, guys. I'm kind of curious. Mm. Here, we'll do a mugging. Just one sec. So they have mugging, resisting arrest, gang hit and run, and then terrorist attack. Interesting. The terrorist attack would be kind of cool, right? Let's try that. It says, please note that this call out uh, pack is currently in beta. Please report. Okay. Okay, this is kind of cool, right? Yeah, if I use just a little inside information, some of you guys may already know this, on YouTube, if you use the word terrorist attack or shooting or police officer shooting, they automatically demonetize your video, by the way. Let's see, what is this going to be? What is this going to be, bros? Oh, oh shit. <laughs> oh my god. Panic. Oh my god. Holy shit, monkey. Get down here, please. I don't have my gun. <laughs> oh my, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh my god. Fucking asshole. Come here, bitch. Oh, fucking asshole. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> okay, so now I know what to expect. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, it's kind of a cool call, but uh, a little too many grouped together. I think it would be kind of cool to have some on top of the water towers or something, right? I think between me and John, we could probably come up with some really, really cool ideas <laughs> for, for a call out. It's just, I don't think I know how to do it. Hey there, is it uh, Donna Van, Van Veld? Thank you for hosting me. I appreciate that. I know it seemed like it. It seemed like it. They really should be wearing something different, right? They really should be wearing something different. Let's do it again. <laughs> this time we're going to be prepared. Um, I'm going to grab my carbine rifle and all that. I do have this, if you don't have it yet, John, uh, easy loadout. That's called easy loadout continued. Yeah, make sure you get that. That's pretty cool. I like that. And I think Bajoja just updated all of his mods, so make sure you do that, John. <laughs> okay, so got that, got that. Um, get our panic button a little closer, maybe, right? Let's try this call out again. <laughs> hey there, Walker. Uh, is it Walker Mass Gaming? How you doing, man? At 
I have to John copy that. Responding code three. Okay, here we go, guys. Oh, there's a different location. This is kind of cool. And they're all going to be grouped again. Panic. Ah, bitch. <laughs> no. You can't get me this time. The last hats. <laughs> Huh? Oh, that's an officer. I think I just... Well, actually, I don't think I shot him, but I almost did. <laughs> I don't usually run out in the open like this, but... I don't like the fact they're all red dots, though. <laughs> that's crazy call. Uh, I know, right? Nick, uh, you know what? Let's do that. Let's do it again. Let's call an air swat back up. Oh shit. Are you dying, man? Alright, hold on, man. <laughs> oh, sorry, officer. I can't do anything for you because, oh, now maybe I can. <laughs> so stupid. Why can't you tend to. Oh, he took a shot to the. I think the descending aorta. <laughs> oh, thank you there, Iron Godzilla. Y'all are sick, man. Watching this police officer die. Y'all are sick. Oh, man. CPR fell, man. Okay, so y'all seen the ambulances and stuff turn up. We're just kind of testing some calls. Here, let's call in SWAT and all kinds of shit, right? <laughs> let's get out of the area. And let's go back. Kind of towards Grape Seed or something. So this stuff despawns, you know. Thank you for that. I greatly appreciate that. I don't know if that was a sub or play a sub. So I'm thinking. Probably on YouTube or something. So I'm thinking, I don't know. But if it's a follow, I think it should have showed on stream elements. That are sick. I'm going to start de designing some merch. If y'all have any good ideas for t shirts, let me know. This is a perfect opportunity for a pencil timestamp. Look at your video time, not your computer time. You know, I stopped doing that. Uh, Iron, what is this? Uh, who's Iron Godzilla again? Help remind me who that is. Because you told me before, I completely forgot. I stopped doing timestamps. You know why? Because YouTube started thinking it was. Um, they basically they hold the comments for review, so that I can look at them just stupid as shit because I think it's spam or something yeah, been, yeah I'm gonna do that Mike for sure Benzo bro t-shirt like hashtag Benzo bro be kind of cool right <laughs> there you go John multiple people on the floor someone kind of laying on the ground uh, their hands stretched out like this blood streaming from their mouth and their nose and and then a big old thing y'all are sick <laughs> So I got a lot of good ideas, but what I'm going to have to do is hop on Fiverr. Have, have you all ever heard of Fiverr.com? There you go, Nick. Thank you, man. Blue and white t-shirt logo. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. It's a uh, Ripco, Ripco, uh, a Gianna, 28, 24. <laughs> Oh, that's right, Matt. Okay, thank you, Matt. I completely forgot. You had told me, and I think you said it's going to take two months or something like that to change your name or something. Yeah, there you go. Benzo and Django kind of like a uh, cop bending over or hugging like a Rottweiler. Benzo bro or something like that. That'd be kind of cool. But yeah, I'm probably going to get on Fiverr.com. I use them all the time for different things. Yeah. 
Yeah, fiber, fi, uh, five R, basically it's five R, if that makes sense. So it's two R's there, dot com. Uh, if you are a YouTuber, and I think um, Washi Walker is, if he's still in the chat. I think I may have mentioned that to you. I don't know if I told you that before, Washi Walker. Uh, use use fiber, man. Uh, there's tons of people that'll do stuff for your channel for really cheap. It's like five bucks uh, for different things that you need them for. Like that lady that does my... Um, Thank you for watching the Benzo channel, blah, blah, blah. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And comment if you're new, you know what I mean? That was a lady I hired on Fiverr. And she's a voice actor. Are you a YouTuber there, Dallas Cowboys fan? Nice. Yeah, so I hired this lady. I only paid her... I want to say it was like 10 bucks to do that voice over and she sent over like two copies of that so it's kind of cool so if you got like a channel and and you need like a an intro like my intro that I have on my channel it was like $20 or something like that yeah I love the Cowboys too man I'm a Dallas fan live in Dallas Texas all my life been a Cowboys fan my entire life. Yeah, five. Yeah, that's it. Five, I'm sorry. I, did I say two R's? I apologize, John. Yeah, five R. Sorry. So Fiverr.com. Yeah, sorry, John. My brain's like melted today. All right, let's do that call again, right? So it's a terrorist attack. And we're going to call in. We're gonna park a little bit of ways. We'll call an air swat and all that. Cause I think that'd be kind of cooler, right? I do like the fact that it spawns kind of, well, mixed feelings. It's a little bit too close, to be honest, where it's spawning, but it's still kind of cool nonetheless. Uh, let's see, do I see him down there? Wait, why did it disappear? It just disappeared. Okay. Code four. Let's try it one more time. It's a ghost. It is a ghost. <laughs> yeah, Cove. Uh -huh. <laughs> Cove's like, my condolences for the Cowboys. Yeah. I wanted to do so much better. Uh, let's see, I don't want to go up that way. Why does it keep... Oh, because I'm not accepting the fucking call. <laughs> okay, we'll do it again. Yeah, Co, we'll see how the Cowboys do this this year. Is Kaepernick still a 49ers? If so, man. Y'all need to get rid of his stupid ass, man. He's making the whole NFL look bad. What a dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny okay so I think they're going to be on a different road let's try this road I don't want to get too close I want to call an air swap back up and all that because it looks cool let's see where are they at guys yeah this is exactly where Terra should be right in the middle of a damn pig farm no oh my god Pressing the squad back up. Holy shit, guys. <laughs> Too close. Panic. Copy that. We are on our way. Hello. Take out your kneecap, please. All your kneecaps. <laughs> <laughs> That's my backup. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you piece of shit. I'm gonna come hit you with my fire extinguisher. <laughs> so funny. 
Yeah, I was going to Martin. I got I got too close, man. I got too close. I'm practicing for tonight's stream on YouTube. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's get back on. We're on duty. We're like we're not, like you know, completely crashed or anything. All right, let's practice that again. <laughs> I didn't have my pure armor. Ah, maybe that's what it was. Okay, let's try it one more time. So if we get this call, we have to remember how it behaves. So Twitch is sort of like my testing ground. <laughs> That's right, Martin. It's on like Donkey Kong, you know what I'm saying? All right, so this time we're going to park a little bit further away. I think they're right on the other side of those train tracks. So how about we get down here? Oh, there they are. Holy shit, no! Again? Panic. Man, they're stimulating so close. I could call air swat now, but it, it would take too long. There we go. Coach shooting so proud of me, trying to hide in cover. <laughs> Somebody over here. Here. Why is my gun not firing now? Son of a bitch! Yeah, this is where terrorists hang out, you know, out here in Sandy Shores, in the middle of the desert. <laughs> what did you think was gonna happen? Keep it up! It's pretty cool, uh, uh FBI uh yeah, you know what I mean. Look at my <laughs> holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> Look at that. Good lord. Wow, that's good cover though, right? I mean, the vehicle does act like good cover. Okay, let's get out of here. We'll try it one more time, and I'm going to try to get far enough away. I don't stimulate. Yeah, we'll park like down the damn street if we have to. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was going to there, Martin, but we're kind of just testing some calls and stuff, you know. Yeah, Manuel, I uh, see. Manuel, you're from Kenya, right? And that is true, right? They call it uh, football. In, they call it football in Kenya, soccer. And I know a lot of people in Kenya. Yeah, Kenya are like really, really big soccer. Well, I'm sorry. Y'all call it football. They call it football, right? It's a really big football fans. But, you know, if you don't like it, uh, you know, that's understandable. I'm not like a real big soccer fan, to be honest. I can't get into it. Um, I know Mike B is, uh, he's really big into uh, football and, and hockey and stuff. Okay, let's try one more time. Let's go ahead and make sure we're completely held up to that similar issue. Oh, there you go. Rip Kobe, uh, Kobe Gianna, twenty-eight, twenty-four. You know, I don't know why, man. I, it took me a uh, it took me a second to knew, to know how to your to pronounce your name. I was trying to make it sound like something else, but obviously, it's rest in peace, Kobe and Gianna. So, yeah, man, it's a cool name, by the way. Okay, so let's do this one more time. So you're a, a Cowboys fan in Philadelphia? Holy shit, man! You're just Asking for trouble, aren't you? <laughs> I am not a Philly fan, man. Cannot stand in Philadelphia. Sorry, guys. If that offends you. <laughs> but, you know, I'm probably just going to offend you guys. But yeah, Philadelphia, man. Well, see, that's the problem is that Philadelphia and Dallas have never gotten along. 
the cow the fans themselves, you know. Are you? You're a New Orleans Saints fan in, in Washington? Yeah, Mike. We already know Mike is going to say Buffalo Bills. You, sh you guys should follow Mike B on Twitter. And if you are remotely a Buffalo's fan, uh, you won't be disappointed. Mike will keep you up to date with every single aspect of every player. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Yeah, I know, Cove. For, I see your your uh, what you wrote there earlier. Yeah, 49ers did really good this last year. And yeah, fucking Dallas, man, pisses me off, man. They were doing so good the first several games. And then uh, they just lost their stupid shit. But I'm kind of glad we are keeping some, like, Cooper and... Uh, you know, I, I want to like Elliot, but for some reason, I'm just not a humongous Elliot, Elliot fan. I think we have some really talented running backs besides Elliot. And he's way overpriced. You know what I mean? But Dak, yeah, he's he's doing good. He's kind of coming into his own. And I know his brother just died too. So, But hopefully he'll get resolved. But Dak has, you know, he's not as bad as Tony Romo <laughs> for sure. But... You know, Tony Romo, man, he's a likable guy, really cool guy, but, uh, and he always had his head on straight as far as not getting in trouble, right? So he's he's a good level-headed guy, but, man, as a quarterback, Jesus, he'd piss, the, he'd piss me off so bad. He would, uh, he would do this routinely where he would uh, throw a long pass, even though, uh, like, say, uh, Miles Austin, when he was, like, say, a, a receiver, right? When Miles Austin played for Dallas a while back. Uh, he would throw it, even though he's being covered by three or four people. He didn't care. He'd throw it anyway. Yeah, it's just crazy, man. And it's like, Romo, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Romo, man. Like I said, he's a likable guy, right? He, he is. He's a likable guy. Um... He's a decent commentator for the most part. Uh, Aikman. I like Troy Aikman. I really owed him as a player back in the 90s uh, when he went through two Super Bowls with us and stuff, or three actually, right? But uh, Aikman, I think he goes out of his way to show that he's not biased towards Dallas, so he's over overly critical. You know what I'm saying? Do you agree with that? Okay, we're going to try this one more time. We're going to plan this out guys we're gonna park further away than At 245. okay let's go okay they're gonna be down this way we'll be parking our asses way out here guys <laughs> about this way out here man you know what I'm saying I got by these deer. I thought those were horses for a second. <laughs> That's fucking big ass deer, man. Oh, man. I kind of wanted to be able to see them like where they're at. But I'm not going to get too damn close. And I don't want them to spot on top of that damn bridge either. But I think if we about right here, right? I just want to get where I can see them, you know what I'm saying? Without triggering them. Here, let's just do it here, right here. If they start running towards me, I'm going to freak out. I'm going to flip the freak out. Okay, here we go, guys. Y'all ready for this? Y'all ready for this? Dun, 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 dun. All right, let's do um, riot response. FIB task force. Uh, uh, I'll throw a little DOA in there. A little IAA action. Military police, <laughs> uh, air swap backup, right? And a security guard. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Come on, guys. Y'all ready? Uh, I love how they just drive right past the terrorists. You know what I'm saying? Oh, wait. The terrorists are, are they moving? Hopefully, they'll follow me this way, right? They should follow me. Yeah, here they go. Come on, guys. <laughs> We're going on a terrorist time. There they are. Can I shoot him from here? Yeah. 
No, they're not responding yet. Okay, here they come, guys. <laughs> this is epic, right? I should do this on stream tonight, right? On uh, YouTube. Oh, maybe I can take out a sniper rifle. Like, I got you covered. Don't go forward. Do not move. Because I'm going to take out a fucking sniper rifle. <laughs> We're having some fun up in Twitch, you know what I'm saying? Oh, wait. I want the other one. Hold on. <laughs> oh, no. Don't crash my game. Uh, I hate that. I accidentally clicked get all weapons and it's been crashing the game lately. <laughs> you piece of shit. <laughs> all right. So that'll help teach me. That sucks, man, right? That sucks. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Sorry about that, guys. All right. <laughs> The only reason why I crashed, guys, is because they've got this weird bug with G either LSPD Fire and GTA 5. If you select get all weapons, it does that. Yeah, so we'll run that tonight. And then remind me in chat, guys, to not get all weapons. <laughs> but I am going to equip a sniper rifle. And I'm going to, like, perch myself somewhere and just start tagging these little assholes, you know. That'd be kind of cool, right? Nah, I'm a stupid thing. <laughs> oh, we got 26 viewers in here. That's cool. It'd be kind of cool if we can get if we can get an average of 75 viewers. It'd be kind of cool that way we can, you know, do some cool stuff. Yeah, you you take care there, Exile. Yeah, we'll see you tonight, man. Over there on YouTube. If anybody is new and they just found me on Twitch, because I know we got a couple of new followers here. Um, yeah, fo follow us on YouTube. Emergency 4. No, I haven't checked that out there, Martin. I'll have to check that out. All right, let's see here. Martin, John, Matt, Manuel, Sneeze, Nick Bolton. Y'all have a good night. Or a good day, I should say. Not a good night. You know what I mean. I'm so used to saying that. Hey there, Iron. Now you're not new. <laughs> I was about to say, hey there, Iron guys. You're new. You didn't know I was on Twitch there. We just kind of started this up. I say, yeah, what? Probably about, I don't know. What's it been about? 10 days, guys? Something like that. Something like that. So, but yeah, we'll, we should have a pretty fun stream tonight. Yeah, you too, Mike. Uh, Benzo Effect, Dallas Cowboys fan, 21. Yeah, Benzo Effect, or I should uh, I should say Benzo and then Space Effect. Yeah, we have about 52K over there. You've been stuck on Dragon A. Ah, nice there, Cove. See, I like Cove's, um, you know, game library. You know, because I love games like that too, Cove. <laughs> yeah, I know, Matt. Oh, man, too funny. Okay, guys. Well, um, hopefully that won't happen. We'll have to reboot all, this, all the stream and stuff again. Not the stream, but reboot the game. Hopefully that won't happen again. <laughs> uh, tonight, uh, John, probably... Um, Probably around six. Uh, we might do a seven o'clock, something like that. Um, Martin, well, see Dallas, see North Texas. Uh, there's different parts of North Texas. Okay, so North Texas, uh, most people would attribute that as being North Central Texas. So Dallas is is a major city, and then Fort Worth is a major city, and. Uh, they, uh, Dallas has more population than Fort Worth, but they're about 30 miles apart. And so we refer to it as DFW for Dallas, Fort Worth, or um, we'll just say Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas. So they're, they're kind of blended together as the same sort of. 
But I just tell people I'm from Dallas, Texas, because it's easier to say that than say the outskirts of Fort Worth, which is Tarrant County. <laughs> yeah, I see y'all sick with a focus later. There you go. Map, that's right. So we got Dallas, Fort Worth, we have Arlington. Uh, there's a lot of major cities around us, but Dallas and Fort Worth are the ma two major cities. Yeah, and Martin, yeah, it's just referred to as DFW Airport is what it was referred to as for the longest time. Yeah, my parents used to work for uh, the uh, American Airlines uh, for about 38 years they worked there. It's crazy, right? Oh, thank you there, Dallas Cowboys fan. Appreciate that, man. Nice. Dallas Cowboys fan in, uh, fan in New Jersey. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I'm a big Dallas Cowboys fan. If you follow me on Twitter, man, um, it is uh, Benzo Effect. Like my name in Twitch here. And uh, I post some stuff every once in a while about Dallas. You used to live in Arlington there, Matt? Nice. I lived all over Dallas Fort Worth. <laughs> I've lived in Arlington, um, kind of near Cooper Street, if you remember that. Uh, see you later there, Martin. And I've uh, lived in, man, North Wichita Hills, Hershey, Los Bedford, um, Keller, Louisville, Denton, Dallas, parts of Dallas, and then different parts of Fort Worth. Oh, okay. Bakersfield, that sounds really familiar. Where's that again? Bakersfield? Yeah, you can uh, follow me on Facebook. It's facebook.com uh, slash Effect. So pretty much everything's Effect, pretty much. Oh, were you there, Cove? One of these days we can um, maybe meet each other in real life, like different people and stuff. Just y'all don't be a stalker and have knives and shit and try to stab me. Okay. <laughs> Just kidding. Maybe get a beer or something. That'd be kind of cool, right? Yeah, you too, John. If you're you, see John, Cove, if y'all are ever in the Dallas Fort Worth area or something, you know, you know send me a message. Meet up, have, some, have a beer or something. That'd be pretty cool, right? Uh, no, well, different parts of Fort Worth, they have military base. Yeah, they do, manual. Um, different parts of Fort Worth, uh, they do have a military base, I should say. And manual, just so you know, I know you're from Kenya. It's not uncommon around like parts where I live to have uh, like literal fighter jets flying over our house and they're like trying to refuel, you know, uh, we get that every single day. <laughs> I get people, I get literally like F F-16s and stuff uh, flying over my house every single day. <laughs> it is crazy, but I'm so used to it now. My dogs are used to it. Yeah, I see it tonight there, Dallas Cowboys fan. Yeah, that's right, Cove. Yeah, Just let me know. Hit me up, man. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I remember when uh, I first saw my first jet and they had this uh, Alliance Airport built. Uh, I remember they stopped in for some fuel and I thought it was the coolest thing ever. And, and now, you know, 16 years later, I'm like, oh my God, I'm so over hearing the jets fly by the house. This is crazy. Oh, do you there, John? When I was younger, we used to see, we don't see it very often, but we'd see the, uh, I forgot what they call those, you know, those helicopters that have the twin propel propellers. Yeah, they are very loud. Very, very loud. I mean, when they fly by, when they do like a buzz by the house, guys, it's so effing close. I'll have to post some pictures for you guys um, because the Blue Angels would fly sometimes and do these air shows. 
I'll have to post a picture. I'm not even joking. You can see uh, the pilot's uh, face almost in the picture. You can see his helmet. You can see like he could should be a damn peace sign. It would look like he's like 100 feet from me. <laughs> yeah, I know they got a brand new stadium, man. And they built that damn thing in record time. Pretty cool. Yeah, I love uh, love watching the Blue Angels uh, air show. I love watching the old, the World War II type uh, planes and stuff flying overhead. It's pretty cool. And it's not uncommon. Like once a year, we'll get these things, and have a what do they call a B nine bomber, fly over. Man, the sound of that thing. Of course, it's not like really low to the ground either, but it's so loud. <laughs> Oh yeah. Who's the oldest person in my family? Probably my sister. I was the baby. My sister's a lot older than me. Yeah, I was the baby. My sister's like in her like fifties, upper upper fifties. Yeah. No, actually, yeah, she's getting close to 60, I guess, yeah. Oh, do you there, John? It's nice. I love hearing those things, man. They're so loud. Pretty cool, though. I love watching planes fly in formation, too. It's pretty cool. All right, guys. Well, I'll see you uh, tonight, guys, uh, on the stream, and then I'll announce, you know, when I'm going to go live. It'll probably be like either six or seven o'clock. Very cool. I really get to fly over in the B-17, nice. All right, Manuel. All right, guys, take care. We'll see you on the next uh, stream, okay? All right, peace, guys.